Hi, Scott. Um, we're here to discuss TESOL Spain's conference convention in Seville this year, um, Teaching Technology with the Human Touch. And you're going to be the opening plenary, which we're very happy to have. Um, would you like to say a little bit about your talk? And um, Yes, well, like the conference theme is sort of serendipitous in the sense that this uh, idea of the human touch um, uh, triggered an association that uh, chimes with an area that I've been interested in the last year or so. In fact, I did give a presentation last year at the uh, International House Barcelona Symposium which are kind of reworking for TESOL. And there, I think it was called something like the learning body. I'm kind of interested, and I really kind of happened upon this really accidentally um, through reading and one thing or the other. Uh, the human touch to me suggests an element of physicality in learning, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I want to explore, it's the physical side of learning, or what's now called in uh, cognitive science embodied cognition. The, the, the idea that, uh, first of all, uh, our sense of our own physicality helps structure our cognition, our thinking. Mm -hmm. And not only that, our cognition in a sense extends beyond our mind into our bodies and it's typically manifested through gesture, for mm -hmm. example, not just gesture, through the way that we physically align with people we're talking to, for mm -hmm. example. And you can see this happening in classrooms. And so very interesting research being done in the last few years looking at how teachers and students kind of create a shared gestural space and how gestures help structure learning, not just the teacher's gestures, but the learner's gestures, mm -hmm. because they reciprocate. Really interesting stuff. So that's really what I want to look at, using the human touch as, uh -huh. a, as a kind of springboard into this area, which I find, that I, as I say, I find increasingly interesting. Good. Sounds interesting. And looking forward to going to Seville? Oh, of course. I'd never say no to a trip to Seville, <laughs> especially in the spring. Yeah. Yeah, well good, we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you, Gerard. Thank you.